This will be tutorial 7 of our complete application in Exxon Framework and today we are going to complete the other projector that we were working with before now. Uh, before now we already built the product summary uh, model which is this but the other summary model, uh, the other summary, yes. So here we are going to make a little adjustment. Remember I added the constructor using generate so this constructor here was auto generated so normally uh, we are not actually going to have this constructor this way we don't need this uh, this particular field in this constructor so I'm, I'm just going to remove it because this actually is another class or another model completely so basically when we have a relationship and we have the product ID which is something some some kind of the foreign key here or the join column in the language of hibernate then we are okay with that so at this point we should go back to the other project or we could go back to the other projector and you can see that everything is uh, is very much okay right now so let's see uh, so let me just go through and see if I'm missing out anything okay yeah we need to have a list of others we need to write a query to return a list of others so that is going to be our query handler so I'm going to add an annotation add query handler so in this case we are going to have a list of other summaries so I'm going to say public public list list of other summary other summary and since it's a query handler we need to the function name is going to be handle and specify the get others query we wrote get others query we wrote before now me call it QRY and the body we are simply going to return a list of other summaries so I'm going to simply say repository dot find all and that is fine so this is all we need to do here so I need to just import the class and actually go all the way um, so to, we have con alternate shift alt, alt shift and enter key can import the class for us and that is fine so let me use some time to review what we've done so far so let me start from the first part in the first part we decided to build the API site and the API uh, is placed inside the API package and that is the command and the event and I told you that for any uh, for any CQRS based application you want to build you want to first determine the commands and the events and in this case we have our commands should be create other command, add product command, and update stock command. Now I give you an assignment for you to go ahead to add additional command. For instance, we have the add product command. It's not the we have the create other command actually adds a product, but maybe we don't have a delete, a delete product command or a, a remove other command. You can try to try your hands on this one. But this you are going to do in another project not actually right in this project so these are the commands and for each command we need to specify a target aggregate identifier and then we have the event the events as well corresponds to each command the next thing we did was to create the read model and the write model the read model i told you uh, is the other summary and the other projector so they are basic entities that you already know and we also have the right model we call it aggregates in the language of axon framework and cqrs the right model is called an aggregate and this right model will respond to commands and also publish events that will be handled right so uh this is where we are so the next thing we want to work on now is are the controllers so if you go back to my website if you go down we can see we have the rest contro controllers here so basically the rest controllers we are going to write it in such a way that we have uh, two of them the product controller and the and the 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 others controller that will respond to requests coming from the client so let's do that in the nice part i would like to thank you for viewing and also feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh feel free to leave a comment if you have any challenges and i will be here to give you the needed support